Hi, LBC, this is Chris Moore, your children's director, and this is What's Cracking with Chris. As I'm hanging out here, watching the guys put some final touches on the field before they put grass down. Super excited for this field to be almost done and be able to play. Um, but what I wanna tell you about what's going on around the church. And the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is Truth Ministry. So this is a ministry that meets on Thursdays at 7 p.m. here at the church. And it's for people who are looking for freedom from mood altering chemical or compulsive behavior. So this is a great place for you to get support from others who are experiencing freedom from uh, in this area, or maybe they've had freedom in this area for some time, but it's a great place to learn. It's a great place to experience reconciliation with God and to learn how to experience rec reconciliation with family and friends. And also it's a great place to be built up and grow in your faith and God. So if you're looking for a place where you can experience freedom uh, in this area, please check out Truth Ministries and join us on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Uh, next thing I want to tell you about is Explore LBC. So if you are new to LBC or maybe you've been here for some time and you want to just get more connected with the church or if you're looking to become a member at the church and just get information about that, please join our class at 1215 on Sunday, October 18th. So that's going to be right after the 11 o'clock service um, here at the church. So we want to give you more information about our church, get you connected with the family and walk you through the steps of becoming a member if that's something that you're interested in doing, which we would love to have you, you do here at LBC. Um, and lastly, the sermon this Sunday. So we're gonna be hanging out in Revelation chapter three, continuing our, our sermon series on the undevoted church. And we're gonna be talking about the church at Sardis. And the one thing that really sticks out about this passage is that this church, Jesus said, has a reputation for being alive, but they are actually dead. What does it look like to have a dead church? And we're gonna talk about that, heed those warnings so that we do not become a church that's dead. So we look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Check out that passage before you show up on Sunday so you have a little bit more information so you're primed and ready to receive the word that Eric's gonna teach this Sunday. And we look forward to seeing you. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you on Sunday.